we are back on the banks, back on the trend doing some more barbell fishing. It's been probably about a week since I was here last. We had a mega session, phenomenal. We had so many fish. I think we had probably about five or six braces of barbell. We had a nice carp and you know the planet's alarm we had so many fish and it was just probably the best session i've had on the trend and i'm actually back in the same peg than i was probably a week ago so i'm really excited to see what we can catch it's about five o'clock weather's bang on it's overcast been raining most of the day got some heavy winds the condition of the river it's fairly clear i mean it's dropped probably three to four foot since i was here last but you know the rods are all out everything's in sitch and i'm ready to catch a barbell so it's about five o'clock time is ticking on so what I'm going to do I'm going to get the kettle on make a brew and then what I'll do I'll show you the rigs the bait I'm using and then hopefully by tomorrow we can get a few fish in the bag so regarding the mix I'm using this is pretty much the same mix that I used in my last videos. I had quite a bit of gear left from my last session, so the basis of the actual mix is the actual shrimp and krill. That's a really good bait. You've got all different bits and bobs in there, two mil pellets, threes, a few crustaceans in there, and it's a really strong smelling ground, but I'm guessing it's a fish meal bait with additives. That's the actual river range, and that is the sort of basis of the mix. I've topped it up with a few of the actual six mil marine halibut pellets probably two handfuls in there something like that got some maggots well these are actually dead maggots and I've put probably a good handful of those in there got the old ever faithful golden grains some sweet corn gone for probably a handful in there just for a bit of colour and then boilies I put probably a handful of chops in these are the maxing up boilies probably two, maybe two handfuls of chops in there and then that is the actual mix itself all different bits and bobs, nice crustaceans, see the little two mil pallets there that come actually with the ground bait, some dead maggots, some chopped boilies and it's absolutely bang on, it really is, it's a brilliant ground bait, I used this in my last session, nailed loads of fish and then on the actual rig itself, the sort of hook baits, I've done what I normally do, I've got some bottom baits, put them in a tub and all I've done is I've got the actual pop-up enhancements, squirted a bit in there and then I to keep topping it up every couple of days and it absorbs into there and I'm using them they're really solid now they're brilliant for the river and they're the sort of hook baits that I'm actually using in the session and I've literally just done a recast probably 10 minutes ago something like that and the three rods that I'm fishing I've got a lot of space in front of me so I haven't got to worry about fishing them too close together I've got one in this sort of area here I've scattered a few boilies probably two or three handfuls in this section here and they've fluttered down around here and i've got one feeder there and then the middle rod that is out in the mid channel the river's dropped probably three foot something like that so i'm fishing mid channel on the edge just out there and that's holding bottom fine i'm using a four ounce feeder cage feeder the quorum ones they're brilliant i've got one tucked away just there and then the right hand rod that one's actually cast upstream I've cast that sort of this section probably 30 40 yards off this margin the line around here and the idea between all the three rods i want to know where the fish are coming through this river so like i said i've got one in between the mid channel and the margin here middle rod is tucked away in the middle and then the left hand rods margin area something like that and I've basically covered all bases and my sort of thought process is any fish coming through here the first fish we get obviously I'll recast that rod if we get another fish then I'll get two rods in that area and then if it's absolutely fishing its head off then I'll get all three so let's say the mid channel produced one or two fish I'd have all three rods in the mid channel because obviously if the fish are coming through there we want to be catching them whether they're coming up or downstream and that's normally the way I do it in these sessions so they're all cast out I'm showing you the bait and all we need to do now is basically wait for some fish to come through my last session on here i think it was about half past four we had his first fish it's obviously knocking on a bit now it's about 20 past five something like that so yeah you can see the actual river has dropped down here you can see all the weed weed down here in these sort of margin areas pushing through so 
yeah it's looking great for a bike weather's absolutely perfect overcast cloudy fairly heavy winds so i think it's time for a bit of evening food and then basically go from there So we're coming up to probably half past eight, quarter to nine. We're definitely coming into the witching hour. One of my favorite times for catching a barbell. The past few sessions, I've had them in the daytime, but it seems this swim in particular, there's not that many fish here. My last session, there were shoals of fish just coming through left, right and center. But I think with the river out, it's dropped probably three, three and a half foot. I think they're gonna, I personally think they're gonna be in the mid channel. I really do. I'm not feeling it to be honest, I'm really not. I think just by looking at the river and the way the way it's going. And I reckon we'll get one tonight and possibly one last knockings tomorrow morning, I think. Because I'm gonna be here till about 10, half 10, something like that. So we've got no more rain coming, so it's gonna be a nice, fairly clear night. It's gonna be quite cold. I think it's dropping to about six degrees, something like that. It's been fairly mild today, about 16, 17. So with that rain, it's cooled it down a little bit, but it does actually look like it's gonna rain again, to be honest really dark moody skies but if we get one and it was just one i'd probably go for night time to be honest i really would so yeah all the rods have been cast out all i need to do now is sit back drink this tea and then hopefully in the next few hours we can get fish in the bag Not too sure how big the fish is, so I'll just quickly grab the old landing net. Yeah, absolutely belted off. Well, yeah, it's holding deep. I don't know if it's a big fish or not, to be honest. It's very welcome, even the same. Yeah, he's holding fairly deep, I'll give him that. really deep. It does feel like a decent fish, if I'm honest. It's got to be careful because I've got a weed bed to my left hand side, so but he's pulling like one out. Let's try and keep him away from that weed bed. Feels like a nice fish to be honest. Ooh. To be honest, I don't know if this is a barbell or a carp, you know, it's... I really don't know. That's something really deep, that is. That feels like a... Yeah, that's a barbell, I'm sure it is. A little bit of weed on the line there, but... Oh! Yeah. Here's a scrapper, I'll give him that. It looks a nice... I'm not going to count my onions, but... That looks like a nice size barbell. It really does. Really nice looking fish. I've only just caught a glimpse of his 
this side so I can always tell a decent sized bulb with the old really deep right slowly coming near us Yeah, that's a, I'm not going to say anything, but that's a decent sized barbel. That's a really nice looking fish. Come on, mate, let's be having you. Oh, oh my days. That's uh, I mean, look at the size of that bad boy. That is an absolute clunker of a barbell. <sighs> is that a new person? That might be a new personal best to be honest. If not, it might be close enough. That's a decent sized barbell. <sighs> right. Let's get you in some deeper water, mate. Get you rested. That is a clunker. Right. Oh, let's get the gear ready and have a look at him. If you've ever watched my channel you'll know that I don't normally weigh fish and that's because you know normally if it's a personal best I'll, I'll weigh it it's as simple as that I've had that many fish over the years and I think this is a personal best barbell I really do it's an absolute monster so I have got my scales with me this session and the reason for that my last session I was catching that many fish I was intrigued to know the size and we've got these got them zeroed and let's see how big it goes this looks an absolute monster Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my days, 16 and a half pound barbell. That's a new personal best for me. My biggest was just over 15. 16 and a half pound barbell. Oh my days, what a beast. <laughs> oh yeah, don't we love it, don't we love it. All oh, right, let's have a look at a, an absolute unit of a barbell. 16 and a half pan. Get in, my son. Right. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is what we like. New personal best don't come very often when you're fishing for as long as I have, but this is an absolute clunker. Oh, I've rested him for a good 20 minutes, so it's going to be absolutely lively as anything, but... 16 and a half pan you absolute beast of a barbell look at that bad boy <laughs> that is an absolute unit of a fish it really is 16 and a half pan look at the frame on it i mean that's that's definitely going to be a probably a good meter wide something like that that is an absolute beast of a fish and like i say a new personal best they don't come very often when you've been fishing for as long as i have and i am over the moon that is an absolute unit so like all my fishing i'm not going to mess about get it back i'm not even going to take a picture i'll do a little screenshot of the video that i'm doing now and i'll rest him for another probably 15 20 minutes so yeah happy days get in my son wicked oh yeah Mwah. Here we go, go on then mate. That's the one, that's the one. Beautiful.
this end of the session it's been a very quiet day probably the past two sessions have been you know the probably the best sessions i've had on the trent so yeah it has been a little bit quiet today but to be honest the river's dropping quite fast so it is affecting the fishing quite a lot but i'll probably return in about a week's time do some more fishing try and catch a few more barbels so without further ado i'm going to get back get this video edited and then get some more sessions planned so i just want to thank everyone for watching if you've enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video